Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything and amazing propaganda cast from me, your host Imperial Dane, the one, the only master propaganda here of Psych Defender of the Fatherland of the 2A1V1. Own, oh, you guessed it, it is Crossroads Winter in the north, it is Batsit fighting for the Red Army, the Soviet Union, Comrades Darling. Here with the third guards making us call with arm and assault tactics featuring the T-35 radio intercept. Vehicle crew repair training, ice turbo tanks, and the Altusturmic attacks in the south. It is Angreifen fighting for the German army. Deutschland here with the oh, let's just go with 7th Panzer Division featuring here Jaeger infantry, mechanized assault, and Luftwaffe supply doctrine. And as always, a big hearty thanks to my patrons, supporters, champions, and heroes, one and all. Without them, this episode and so many others would not be possible. Also, very big thanks to all those other people who can join the ranks by pledging on Patreon or donating by PayPal. Links are in the video description. Finally, commenting and liking, sharing, and subscribing helps me out as well there. So, off the race up, Angrav Nishnev going more focused eastwards here, rather than westwards, which is typically what you do as a southern player here, since, you know, the fuel point is much more easily within reach here of you. So, interesting approach in this case. Could prove fortuitous as Bassett is actually focusing hard around his opponent's fuel point there. So... Interesting opening there that could obviously pay off there for Ungaifen then as he pushes Hart then for the Eastern Fuel Point, but definitely a bit unusual. Third Conscript for Bassett, second Gunnadies Court there for Ungaifen. Gunnadies and MD420 Eastwards, Pioneers based on Ring about in the West, he's basically acting as scouts, doing a bit of reconnoitering there to get ideas to what Bassett is up to there. Cheeky and quickly buggering off as soon as the Soviets arrive with their bolt action rifles. Steady advance up the eastern side, again not rushing towards the fuel point even. Second gun is got ready. So far though, fairly quiet stuff here between Bassett and and Goliath. Moving up the center here with his Flontovix. Got the point here, gun is setting out. Third gun is caught there for Angreifen, pushing the western side of the gun is in the MD-42. Again, so far not a single shot fired here. Fourth gun is there for Bassett. More, more common to see that if you're not going to go for any elite troops, you will then typically go for the full conscript build instead of the three conscript and twin years. Troops moving forward to see for Bassett. Pioneers popping in there. Machine moving towards the center as well to assist. Gun is got the calf point there. Fuel from being secured. Comes flying up behind the Angreifen. They could threaten the machine on flanks perhaps a bit. Third, Kandis coming in there, Bassett here, sort of caught up here in the center, Conscript's press pushed back there by Angarten's determined pioneers and MD-42 crew. Kandis got the car point fully secured now, fuel pump being grabbed here. At the same time, deep flank here by Bassett, Angarten, looks like he might be able to deal with that though. He might going to put straight for those some fuel there. Cheeky play there at the same time, Conscript's here, a lot of action going between Bassett and Angarten. Imagine, yup, we got medicine worth of a facet. Almost done researching. Oh, the machine is in the wrong position, right? It's the company up there. Oh, and Hex, uh, this is really awkward for Angarf. At least he has time to reposition the machine gun once more to deal with this. He has also gone here for Jaeger infantry featuring ambush training, Jaeger light infantry upgrades, Jaeger command squads, light artillery barges, and the anti tank strafe. So that was a devious maneuver of Bassett. With a slightly awkward response there by Angrath, and of course he's cutting up his opponent's fuel, but crucially, Angrath will cut off from most of his resources right now, so that is something he needs to rectify fast, because that is something that can rapidly snowball out of control for him. Tech down there for Angrath. Pioneer's got the point here, machine there. Has an unexposed flank, so he's not pushed back, but at least he's able to get the fuel point, or cut off point back. Meanwhile, we've got Constantine further forward here. Bassett is just playing a disruptive game here versus Angreifen. He's very carefully picking his fights versus him, and trying not to like get caught up in an engagement that's not going to serve him. Like, he's just, just you know, happy about just denying Angreifen the resource, that way getting hit there. So, two thumbs up to Bassett here. Very smart play there. Meanwhile, we got Angarven there with some Panzer and getting out some fast light vehicles. Could also be a good idea here. Either armored car or a half track. Both, I think, could be very good investments here to help further contain Bassett's current strategy. We'll, of course, have to see if that is what Angarven chooses to do. But either way, though, straight for the car upon there. Digging in with sandbags. Munitions being grabbed. The machine gun trying to catch up with the Gunnadier support. And we got the Panzer Gunnadier squad ready, adding ambush camouflage to them rapidly. Thumbs up. Bit of bar while there. And support and company here for Bassett and the Red Army. 
shots right in the south here by the Southern Eastern's point. And you fall to ride in the conscripts, but not before the render the point neutral. Messing a bit there with Angarden's resource income. Ambush camouflage almost ready under this Panzer Grenadier. Panzer Grenadier the conscripts. Sturm Gewehr 44 versus Mercenary Guns. That is obviously going to be won there by the Panzer Grenadiers. Conscripts sent packing. Grabbing the Western Munitions Point. Going for the Conscripts there in the east. Securing the center there. Grabbing the Munitions Point. He could like consider another Panzer Grenadier squad right now, to be honest. Just push more hard infantry against Bassett right now. I don't think Bassett would be quite ready for that. And in the pinch, you could even then equip them with the Panzer Shrek in case like he gets hit with a light vehicle. But again, he's like going to push for an armor uh, pack, 30, pack 40, but also go for like armored cars. There's plenty of options here for Angram John C. Consider here versus Bassett right now. I mean, he's got a fairly like strong developing hand team. There you go, Bassett with the M5 half track. And it's quite interesting to note, by the way, as of late, there's just been a significant surge and so players actually rushing out the half track. Like, just I would say roughly a month ago, and for like years, the T7 has pretty much always been the go-to unit for the Soviets. But as of late, like over oh, the last couple of weeks, like the M5 half track has become much more prominent in the Soviet meta game, really becoming heavily utilized. Because again, I think more people just realize this is actually like a really good unit, and crucially, you can go for it without then delaying your medium armor too much either, which I think is sort of further increasing. It plus, I mean, a lot of Soviet players tend to float a lot of munitions as well, so. There's like a lot of incentive to go for it. Sure, it can't take as many hits, but if you're smart about it, that won't matter too much anyways. So this is sort of one of those interesting sort of meta shifts here. You sort of notice there. We're sort of seeing happening before our very eyes. Not to say, of course, the T-Sin is still being used entirely, but the M5 half tech and port mount and the upgrade has suddenly become a significantly larger part of the meta game than it used to be. So let me see the conscripts again. We're on the western fuel point back here from Angreifen and the Germans. Half tech quickly falling back there. And there you go, 2 to 2 for Angreifen to back at that. You can like consider going for two armored cars. Crossroads, I think, is one of those matches we could get away with the two armored cars here. Though he probably won't go for it, but he could. No sign of upgrades for the gunner to use here. We've got a medic bunker on the way there. Could be he's planning something there. They're not quite aware of maybe mines. Maybe he is keeping the door open for a uh, Panzer Frig upgrade here versus Bassett. Probably not though. Field gun the way there for Bassett and the Red Army. This is three division field gun. Troop reinforcing healing. Gonna do something for the arts. Before two inch enough, not an upgrade for them. Just camera flash. You'd figure that'd be like one of his priorities to upgrade, but inch enough that is not the case here for Ungarden. So there you go. Bassett swinging the map control back and forth pretty aggressively. Again, the key to note here, of course, is how Bassett is achieving this. He's not just, you know, beelining strange like every hard point Angarven has. In fact, typically a lot of the time, he outmaneuvers them, forcing Angarven to keep up with them that way. And he's also more than happy to concede ground under the right circumstances and just allow Angarven to move ahead and then outmaneuver him. So, really, I would say sharp so play here for Bassett in, I think, some key respects here. Which I think prospective so players may want to keep an eye out for. Uh, on pack four and weather for Angrav, rocking up against the conscripts, quickly dodge the armored car, they're taking a lot of damage. Interesting enough, and fortunately for Angraven, no anti tank grenades have been researched. Then again, with field gun about there, he may. Oh! Oh! Just as I say that, seconds after, research done and then pelts it. Oh well. Max near for Bassett, not a bad investment at all there. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see an ambush camouflage on the MD-42, as that's, you know, a really good unit to benefit from. That said, the Panthers get a bigger bonus now to accuracy compared to the other units because they nerfed in every other unit but the Panzer Grenadiers. So they still get a 50% accuracy bonus, but every other unit gets 25%. The enemy is taking so, what we have little fun fact there. Heavy machine, gun team prepared for combat. Heavy machine team ready there for... Bassett catching the assist three divisional field gun there. And then caught here by the court mount. They got 471 versus 388. Grab the southern point here. Finish the conscripts. And a field compartment here. Misses the gun these there. We'll have to see what Angarden tries next. 
He could, of course, take up now. He could also go for the Command Squad, pull him up to five squads. He could also go for another Pack 40, go for Mortis. I mean, there's several parts here I'm going to go right now, take versus Bassard. Off the Apanius Corp with a half tack. We could also go for another light vehicle, honestly. Eastern Pawns being seized thick. Grenadies advancing. Got some light machines up there. No G33s. And we got a Morty of Angraten. A Granaten therefore. That can definitely be a solid investment here, in particular around the center where Bassett is definitely looking to control the field a bit there. Oh, cancels it for another pack 40. Clearly concerned then, I guess, about the sheer mobility and aggression here with that. Bassett is employing a South Tech here versus Angraten, which you know, is quite fair to understand. Plus, he's even using overdrive here to like really get the most of its speed here. So I would say Basil, Bassett, not Basil, Bassett, is making a very good case here for why the M5 half track I think is quite popular because it is very mobile and it can be quite tricky to catch up with. I'm going to think they want to take up soon here. And he's with the advancing conscripts and the field gun that is an obvious retreat here. See with the maximum nearby, there is no way in hell the gunners can maintain that position for much longer than a few more seconds. Beyond that, it's just gonna be like a complete waste of gunner years. Molotov in the air. in fact, they light themselves in the fire. <laughs> Yuri, what are you doing? I, I, I'm sorry, I, I burns. Sorry. Can't swing forwards there. Pioneer's caught in center of the maximum machine gun. Pack moving in there, so yeah. Double packs, of course, can also basically, like, you need know, just alpha strike the half tech if you can catch the half tech with both of them. We'll have to see. No tech yet for Angreifen. Bassett really just, again, striking hard here, though, and swiftly, which is definitely, I think, the key word here. It's about hitting fast. And this regard, making good use of the space of the map here versus Angreifen as well. Still an attack, no different infantry, nothing else here. Mortar, now it's going for the mortar again. At this point, they, part of me thinks he should be trying to push for armor first before a mortar, but again, getting a mortar is generally a good idea in a lot of situations. I'm not saying it's bad for him to go for the mortar, just timing-wise, I probably prefer me deciding to slowly begin pushing for armor there. But anyways, can I me if I right around the corner? Germans operated a variety of mortar at the wall. They also had the Granadenmeer for, or a 36 Granadenmeer for 36, which is actually a smaller mortar, about 5 centimeters, which was, well, a light mortar, though, compared to other light mortars, was actually quite heavy. That's a little fun side note there. Smoke being deployed here, though, very nice. In this case, actually, Elite helped support a flank there by keeping Bassett's eyes away there. Catching the Max North Guard. Pioneer's pushing forward to their pants to get back in the fight here. Field gun fire, maximum turn around there, go full retreat here, mortify land the conscripts, causing a bit of damage there, a bit of harm. But I'm not sure it's really worth it for Ungarb to attack here. Versus Bassett. I think you're better off pushing for the center that way, swinging around here, that way, trying to outmaneuver Bassett. But oh well, finally got some tape there for Ungarb, and meanwhile, Bassett's already got the Mechanized Summon Company. That means he will be able to push out a T-34 from 6 rapidly. Or even a fairly well-paced a T-34-85 here versus Ungaird. And so that could definitely become a bit problematic for him. We got another smoke being deployed here. He really wants to like push through here. Holy smokes now. That was a mortar hit. But there you go. Half to then again. Note the usage of terrain here. Quickly maneuvering up to a position like it's difficult for Ungaard to like, get a pack 40 up. In ahead of time to prepare for such a maneuver. Very smart play there by Bassett. Very smart. Rock grenade over the maxim. Wiping it. Excellent rock grenade there. Feeling about the gun of these here. Hits a small storage ship. We got the pack bottom in there. Could alpha strike the half tech. But again, Bassett makes sure the half tech is pretty much almost always maneuvering here. So again, it's very difficult for Ungar to just catch with the packs. And of course, as soon as he knows where he is, he is quick to again make use of the terrain to thus obfuscate land. Oh, close call there. That's a definitely perhaps got a bit too relaxed on un 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 But it's then very quick to take a much safer path. Even order it to hold fire so it doesn't accidentally give away its position 
for the pack gunners. And as all this happening, going to push in the car point here, defended though successfully there by Unguard and Lone Machine Gunner. It does look like Bassi yeah, is going to go for the T-35. Trying to stall here for an IS-2 right now, I think would be tactically inadvisable uh, by a fair amount. And we're back here at Ungarden's base. we got the Sapoma Cop there, likely a Panzer IV here. The enemy still has 300 points. Machine Gun Rowdy needs some troops in there to block that up. Pushing up here, may want to get the pack forwards in position. Vector base being used to grab points. Still active play there by Ungarden. Thumbs up. T-3045, halfway done. These being mowed down. Of course, the Germans, in terms of mortar rolls, are greatly so at heavy mortar copy it. But they also had another set of mortars known as the Nebelwerfers. In fact, the early Nebelwerfers were actually mortars, not rocket launchers. And they actually had some fairly heavy ones there, but they never really saw any sort of extensive service, interestingly enough. East side there, big push by Bassett, maximum conflict against Ungarden's Eastern forces. Quick route here in the face of a pretty brutish Soviet assault here. I just need to retreat now. That T-35 is, I think, pretty much a death sentence for them otherwise. In the center of their assault, he's also encountering issues with the maximum mortifiers raining down. Oh, smoke. Thumbs up there. Much more faster, as you can see there. Massive advantage smoke has sure doesn't do damage. You can much more quickly, like, you know, get a machine gun out of the fight there. Which is sometimes what you actually want. Just immediately getting out of the fight rather than necessarily, you know, chance of killing it. Pack 40 said pushing back the T-35, causing extensive damage to the tank. Though Bassett still has plenty of infantry to fill in the gaps with there. Can go for the Panzer IV now. Though this is the T-35, you may want to consider a Sturmgeschutzstrei as for instead, maybe even two. No, generally two though. My advice is always to get two Stu Gs if possible, rather than one. But there you go, Panzer IV for Angreifen and the German army. West side, the MD4 defend the car pump, got the half to moving in. And also worth noting it making use of the overdrive. Relying heavily on speed here to outmaneuver Angreifen and keep him guessing, or at least less able to react swiftly. Thumbs up there to Bassett. Hands are full. Closer being done. Straight to the maximum. There you go, machine gunners actually gunning down the gunner. Of the Maxims with incredible efficiency and speed. Almost swapping out the Maxim crew again, and only one narrowly gets out of there. Got the center, Pentafor almost done, fixing up the T-3035. So now they both each have a single tank on the field. Got to east here, Pax moving in, destroying the sandbags immediately, I'm driving taking no chances there. That's it. Map support or map control has been going back pretty aggressively back and forth so far. Some heavy swings there, if you will. The and the Pantafort towards the center. T-35 is ready there. Go gets the first shot on the Pantafort. Pantafort returns the favor, but the T-35 gives us more health base. So yeah, Pantafort's close being knocked out already. No tank support and crucially no support either. Is definitely let's go there we go pack forwards to nearly save the panther horse bacon here and we're gonna take a off here against bassett like to inform take a shots maximum quickly getting the devil out of there see shells hammer down can't caught the for two in the center on the west side t foot foot five pushing for the panzer gun of the year backed up with a half pack and a field gun down to two men here as bassett leashes his full fury on the german west flank in the east side though on the east map we got here the point secured there by Angreifen. More pioneers is a good investment for Angreifen to speed up repairs of his armor, his Panzerwaffe, so good. Panzer going there reinforcing healing. Grabbing the center. Before they're being repaired, sensors are secured. We got 232, Sophia, and 83. Got the import to the maxim, and we can see there Bassett taking no chances and just bails out of there, sensibly so. In the center, bit of skirmish here. One can use against a small Soviet attack here, maximum conscript. We've got Molotovs there. 
We do get a Rav grenade, which almost wipes out the entire counter squad new turn. That falls a bit short there. Bassett here could be going for another T-35 now. And that said, it's also not impossible that Bassett might right now be containing the possibilities of going for an IS-2 right now. The con pros and cons of it. Will it work out for him? Will it not? Will we risk losing? And gaining from going for an IS-2 here. Thing is, though, in the end, just going for more T-35s is just very cost efficient. Pants was there and punched there was the conscripts. Gun him down efficiently in the west side, fight for the car point there. T-35 moves in. The pack forward is there, busy in the east, they have to be hauled towards the west. And there you go in the center, the pentagon is almost up the conscript squad. 15 kills near east level. Ungarden could go for Stuki. Another Panzer four. We shall have to see what Ungarden decides on here versus Bassett. Thompson there, yeah, forced back. Got the mortar in action. Smut being deployed again. Bit late to the party though, bit late. Also, it does look like Ungarden did manage to get a wipe in Bassett at some point, so that's good. Ungarden that is less good for Bassett. He said their party is routed from the Eastern Fuel Point. The West T-Fed forming in there, crushing a bit of barbed wire. Then he's being bombarded here. Gaining veterans he won. Seven kills. Tier 4 von Greifen. He's got something heavier planned. We got S mines here. But uh, with the T-35 there, those S mines won't matter too much. Pack 40 shoots whiffs. West side, you can see there's no trying to crash Ungarn to a point. See, and Ungarn crucially is also fighting from the center. Well, it can be difficult to, like, you know, push ahead. The opponent's, like, you know, got a good, well dug in position. So, definitely a bit of a soft spot there. Ungarn has managed to maneuver himself into. Once then also going for tier four. And there we go. Bassley trying to turn the tables here on Ungarn, moving him with the T-Fed from the conscripts. Shot bounces at fairly close range. That is very lucky there for Ungarn and Panda 4. Panda's going to be a pioneer pushing forwards here. We got near ace level on them. In the center, T-35 there backs off. Panda's are pushing for the T-35. We got near ace level on them. Panda 4, the lands a shot. Center there. We got a steady line here of guns under Bassett's command. Mortifier could be useful there for Ungarn. Veteran should one game in the Pentafall half track nearby. Ace level 15 kills. And in the center there, Maxim providing ample covering fire there for any advancing troops. Mortar's trying to snuff it out, but it is not encountering much success in the mortar is now getting counter bombarded by the CIS 3 divisional field gun. Heavy pants cop there for Ungarden. Will it be a panzer battle? Will it be a storm panzer? Will it be a panther? You're gonna tell a badge off here now. Doing some heavy damage to the conscripts. Yevgeny Dimitri. Bob Dimitri dead. Another hit from the Panther for killing some more conscripts. Conscript film on towards the center. Panther for taking a nice hit from the field gun. Enemy 4 turning out. Bring in the mortar. Give him a barring. Grabbing the eastern fuel point. Narrowly avoiding their losing the time before two crew there to the distribution field gun. Half check going out of the pioneers. Ungarden continues to focus on the center, trying to break it down. And looks like he's planning for the Panther here. I mean, he is seconds away. In fact, he's a second away there. They can go for the Panther now. The Panzer Kampfwagen 5. If he so chooses, if he so desires. Yep, there you go. Panther on the way. So advanced for the center there. Pack cleared out there. Panther 4 on top of the T-35. Half tech finding Kung fire there against any infant trying to get close here. Pack 40 up top of the T-35. Not close up getting Panther past him. Got to called in here on Bassett's infantry assault. Was it up here by the car point? Hard to say there where it's going down. Oh, it's up there clearing up a field where the Panther 4 is down. Oh, it's actually bandaged still. Bassett has two t 35s and the half tank. Ungarden has got one pack left. The only one's been seized by the Soviets. 
Well, we're about to be seized by the Sotan Manion. And he's got a panther on the way there. Bit of a tough spot for him to be in. Plus, Bass has secured the car on there to the fuel point. Katusha on the way here for Bass, and that's definitely going to make things more quirky. Pack almost being wrapped up. There you go. Got one hit and a half before the crew expired in the phase of a near infinite amount of let there from the Sotan. Maximum splitting up to grab the other point. See, Katusha cancelled for Bassett. Probably at the sound of the Panther Ram here, thanks to Radiant Intercept. Quickly backing off, the allowing Ungarven to reclaim the Pack 40 for the German army. Field gun away here, even abandoning the field gun he has on the field. Quickly seized by Ungarven. More likely to be destroyed, but he's pushing up with the Panther here, the Panther Kampf Wagen 5. The Panzer Division would typically have a battalion of panthers in its panzer regiment the other battalion will be made up of panther falls later on the second battalion will be made of a mix of panther falls and stugs because they would increasingly face a shortage of panther falls so stugs were used to make up for that little shortage fun fact fun fact quick clearing them out there Mortar with six kills, closing in on their sentry feet. The sector is at risk. Maxim Rad in the center got the Panzer gonna be pushing forward there for the German army. T for the half of the new repairs. But that half leg's just been an amazing investment there for Bass, you can see that and he's just been making excellent use of its speed there to make it difficult for Angarden to catch. Now the T-35 there for Bast, I mean versus the Pan, that's honestly probably one of his better bets, that way she fives. Left she done, can't go for next, but he's only just two infantry scores in the middle, so it's Bassett, but I think, you know, either side benefit more from going infantry, in particular Ungar could say he's had an engaged command squad, at which point he could, I think, leverage an infantry advantage over Bassett fairly aggressively, clearing out support weapons, thusly isolating the tanks a bit. Plus, he's got now three anti tank guns against more infantry. Keep clear would also be good. And there we go again. Bass is striking at the weaker, isolated target here, going for a victory. You know, defeating his opponent in detail. Thumbs up there. Very sharp play there by Bassett. Basically, looking to avoid like any major confrontations until he's managed to build up his forces. He sort of instead pokes away at Ungar from there, trying to avoid the major, you know, anti tank position, which I think is. Tactically very sound there, so and also strategically very sound. Panther driving in there fairly aggressively and crucially with no support or line of sight. Bit risky there by Ungarven. Tactically a bit uh, tough to advocate for. There you go, Ace Panthers riding the Panzer Grenadiers, riding the country in the east there. After this, the Panzer Grenadier, we got still trying to kill to treat those now. Oh dear, he's not paying attention. Scheiser! Uh, just one man! And it looks like he's someone else about getting white. Nima in the center. A T-35 gets knocked out here by Ungarven. Good kill there. Good kill, but he still needs more infantry. Nima got a Morty for Bassett. Thumbs up. Dumbing with a Panther, but it's heavily damaged here. Good hit on the half track, but the Panther is close to just exploding there. Bounces a shot there off its 80mm of slope frontal armor. Later models of the Panther, though, would in a sense strengthen the frontal armor by actually removing the driver's hatch in the front, basically removing one of the few weak spots the Panther's frontal armor actually had. So, a little fun fact there. Panther needs repairs, trip reinforcing healing, Panzer gonna be good to go. He did briefly consider the Stug, but something tells me he's either planning a Panzer 4, or he might even be going for a Panther more like Angab Dev has a shall we say a slight uh, penchant for heavier armor then when he ever plays the Germans. He really does like his tiger tanks and his Panthers. Troops are out there. Fixing up the Panther. 
Note the way he's positioned the anti tank guns. He's keeping the sort of in a reserve position so he can easily more react, I think, to whatever Bassett may strike from because, again, the way Asset, Bassett has been playing his tanks and vehicles, he's definitely made it difficult for Iron Gun to like, effectively just pop his down anti tank in one spot and then just cover against it. So, in this regard, Bassett, I think, is showing himself as being a fairly adept attacker here, attacker versus Iron Gun. Which I think is a very good skill to have. Like, he's not just the type to, like, you know, get stuck up in a meat grinder mentality here. He's always looking for the most optimal angle of attacking Ungarden from. So, thumbs up to that. But, yeah, Ungarden, I think, is very likely a plane for the Panther. I mean, he's only got the resources for the second one, manpower wise. He does fuel wise. He's a bit under a minute away from it. So, the battle on the field gun, Maxim and the Mortar. And he's pulling up here, though he's still fairly short in infantry in general. Whilst the opponent is right and the fuel cough on it threatened once more. Narrowly avoids losing the field and crew here to Ungarden. Close call there for Bassett. Meanwhile, Ungarden getting ever closer to the second Panther. That could actually prove to be a challenge though for Bassett's tanks, depending on how Ungarden then employs his Panthers versus Bassett. Choose your rocket launcher there. Finally goes forward here versus Ungreifen. It will absolutely be cancelled at once he hears the second panther arriving. Oh, if he can. But there you go, Ungreifen can now call in a second panther. He has the resources. He has the tech. He has the population points. And I imagine he has the motivation towards it. Very easy to do so. He chooses almost done there for Bassett. Draw at least his speed from field and we did lose there to Bassett again. It's enough for no additional tanks. Oh, there we go. Second Panther way to find Gryphon. That will be two Panthers. Which versus two T 35s definitely has the advantage. If used together, of course. T 35 them in westwards. In these side, the MG4 2 on its own. Some There's the half track here. Pops and turning up his rounds. Not a bad idea, Panther ultimating in there. Flares off there from Bassett. Thumbs up. Telemine's down, but there you go. Katusha Bowser off right there on time. Got position by the road, forcing him to cancel the Telemine. Second Panther's almost done. So, what will happen next is the big question here. And go machine caught with the half track again. That could be a wipe here if he's not careful. In particular, Bassett decides to get a bit aggressive. Fortunately for Ungrab, he decides not to be that aggressive. Need to fix it up. Pants gun is there, of course, still ace level. 19 kills and 28 kills on the gun. Is Panther moving up. Western points being seized. One kill in the mortar. Panther moving in. Splitting up the Panthers, being they're much more easily well dealt with one on one, obviously, compared to together. Very good risk there, Fun Garden, honestly, depending on how Bassett reacts to this knowledge. Oh, dear, got the half track finally. Good kill there for Ungarden. Bassett overplayed his hand there, and Ungarden punished him. T Fops had to game down to both Hacks and Panthers. Could deploy smoke in, I think, dive after the T Fed fires with the limited infantry support he has, though it would arguably be risky. But he could try it nonetheless. Do we get the Panthers up there since they can keep better pace with the tank spanks the combined arms bonus they gain in Version 2 1. Maximum run of the West, if we got 143 to 168. More mortify against Ungarn position. Pack crew expires under unrelenting punishing artillery fire there from Bassett's Canadian Alpha. A mortar. Panther moving in there. Eastern points used for the conscripts. Panther moving in there. Straight into the field gun there with it. Needs to back up fast. We've got artillery called in though. Ungarn's not getting ground. He's also putting manpower, but not calling it infantry. When I really think at this point, Ungarn would strongly benefit from infantry to support his two panthers, like Yeager Command Squad, 
Pentagon is right now, I think, is what I'm going to call into backup is two Panthers because they can have to quickly clear up the field guns while the Panthers can then focus on the arm, I think. If Angra were to do that, I think we'd actually have a very strong hand right now versus Bassett. But it does require that Angra hmm, begins calling in more infantry. He easily has the manpower for it, but for whatever reasons, Angra seems to prefer just slowing the manpower rather than calling in more troops when he really just has one pants on the squad and the Grenadier squad. Machine the center here going straight forward there for Deutschland. Ryan to Molotov though. Veterans one panther gets him with the field gun, punching cleanly through the front line of the Panther. Causing quite a bit of damage. That means he's going to have to spend quite a bit of time now fixing up both Panthers. So this could be an opportunity that Bass is waiting for, but the Panthers in a weak state, we can then rush in and finish him off. Definitely punishing Angarbny again. Had he just had infantry support, he could have maybe cleared out the field gun, the Maxims, making it harder then for Bass to actually damage the Panthers. So we can really cannot stress the, enough the importance of having, like, you know, infantry support for your tanks. And there, Gun Gun commits the heavily damaged Panther, not the most heavily damaged, definitely a mistake here for Angreifen. Pack cleared out there, and now the, the way to both damaged Panthers now cleared up, of course, of course, this one is now even more damaged, so it's an easy job here for Bassett versus Angreifen. And he's still footing manpower. There you go, got one key for 35, but at this point, not looking great. And there you go, second Panther is out, he can possibly even destroy it here, but the problem is, the two T-Food vibes are significantly cheaper than the two Panthers. That was a massive blow. Plus, Bassett has more command point or victory points to give up, whereas Ungram has got 84 left. And he's bleeding out rapidly, so definitely, I think, a significant misplay there by Ungram near over Bassett. He's calling on Panther 4 now. His force is getting murdered, and again, he just has an extra infantry. Finally, caught in the command squad there. Thumbs up, but it's just much, much too late at this point, honestly. And there you go, meet me and lose the gun. These scores back to Jan's two infantry squads already. He does get the T 35, but his opponent's bringing another one, and again, map control wise, big two points wise, like most of the situation is now heavily favored for Bassett. Like, Angrav's. Good moment there was again we had all those tanks and then all that manpower but then failed to invest that manpower into actual units for the supporters as Panthers. So I would say Ungarden's chance of winning this are very slim. Not impossible. I mean a really good flank could perhaps do it versus Bassett, but I will say the odds are not looking much in his favour. Even lost his mortar. Again. Into the T-35, we've got Incineon, we've got Pack 4, we've got S-Strafe and Run here. Machine Gunner needs to get out of there before it gets swiped. Almost got the T-35, Pack crew is added, even so, as the Soda Air Force just unleashes all their cannon fire around to the Machine Gunner needs to treat now. Troops are back here reinforcing, or basically elsewhere, looking to flank in with the Jaeger Command Squad here. Got 42 versus 267. The situation is turning into complete nightmare here for Angreifen. He's losing units left and right and increasingly accelerating pace here against Bassett. And he just can't, you know, keep up with these losses. He's going for more pioneers to replace on the losses. His Panzer IV nearly survives. Bassett's certainly also taking losses, but crucially, he still has more left than, you know, Angreifen does. The Panzer Squad is good to go here. 29 kills. Peace level. Hardened veterans won it all. Iron Cross second class. But the odds are just not great for Angreifen. 31 minus 267 machine in the back. Ooh, narrowly bothered that, but the Pentagon is arriving just in time. So the war of that MG4 falling into the hands of Bassett. Going for another MG42 here. Needs to get all the pioneers and fix up the Pentagon swiftly. Goodbye to Laden and the country are trying to force them off the point. We've got 24 versus 267. 35 kills on those East Panzer and the absolute bunch of hardened veterans. One and all. We got 18 points left. He's trying to hide out here, but the problem is with the mortar, there's only so much hiding you can do. There's only so much hiding you can do against high explosives. That's sort of like, you know, one of the advantages of high explosives. You know, 
They don't need to see you, you just need to be within the, you know, area effect. The radius of kabooming. Smoke deployed here, five points left. Three points left. Yeah, I think this is GG. One point left. Yep. And game over here. He lost Van Garden, the victory for Bassett. A fierce back and forth engagement in between the two plays with some really big swings and some nice attacks, but in the end, Ungarden really, I think, ran short in infantry. Tactically, I think he also fell into a few pitfalls there. And that combined with then, you know, having two Panthers and mismanaged them, I think, you know, actively while again failing to support them with infantry, I think cost on the match here. Still, Bassett also did a lot of good there. The way he handled his half tech was great. He handled the early game, I think, quite well as well. He was good at maneuvering, he was good at attacking, making it much more difficult for Ungarden to leverage whatever advantage he did have when he had them. So, obviously, not just all on Ungarden's shoulders. I mean, Bassett, I think, also played quite a good game here. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. You learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on it. Tell a friend, tell a family, but don't tell enemies. This is Imperial Links and Cheers. Thank you for watching. Until tomorrow again for another exciting episode. Bye. Whoops.